seated. Um, I stand before you today as the executive chairman of the KGL group of companies. Immensely honored to take part in this year's Black History Festival. It is indeed a privilege to contribute to a discourse that is not just timely but essential. The next level of technology in Africa. Today, as we celebrate the rich diversity of black history, we pay tribute to a legacy defined by resilience, innovation, and an unwavering pursuit of progress. We honor the trailblazers who dare to dream, challenge the status quo. It is a call the collective exploration and a testament to the transformative power of technology in reshaping Africa's next chapter. As we navigate the next frontier of global development, let this spirit guide us. Let's leverage technology as a tool for empowerment, sustainability, and shared prosperity. Together, Let's write the next chapter of black history, not just in words, but in action. Ladies and gentlemen, as we commemorate black history and honor the legacy of those who came before us, let us commit ourselves to ensuring that the achievements of black innovators are recognized and celebrated. As I said earlier, I'm trying to edit the speech as I go on. I'll probably do some example. Myself, um, having lived and, uh, in England approximately 35 years ago, I made the decision to leave my homeland, Ghana, and to venture to the United Kingdom with a clear purpose in mind to acquire valuable skills, knowledge, and financial resources that would enable me to contribute to the development and progress of my beloved country, Ghana, and the continent. During my time in the United Kingdom, I did not only remit financial resources to friends and family back home, but I also invested in numerous impactful projects and businesses within Ghana. These endeavors were fueled by my determination to fulfill the promise I made to myself all those years and finally, eight years ago, the realization of this vow came to fruition as I returned to Ghana to establish a KGL group of companies whose journey towards success has been marked by significant milestones. Notably, we have been recognized as the 11th most ranked company in the country. My journey is not unique, but resonates with most of you gathered here at the DIAS France today. I would therefore like to invite you all to come to Ghana, a land, limit, a land of limitless opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, as an avid advocate of diaspora inclusions, I also wholeheartedly support the endeavor to mobilize Africans in the diaspora for the purpose of driving transformation in the technological space. I strongly believe that this inclusion approach represents a forward-thinking strategy, harnessing external resources and expertise to spare national and continental development. I have also been a strong proponent of diaspora direct investment as a preferred option to foreign direct investment. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to delve into the inspiring narrative of Africans' innovative landscape by highlighting what we do at the KGL Group. The KGL Group has used technology to disrupt a lot of industries in Ghana. One notably is the lottery, the state lottery industry, in which the KGL Group plays a significant role in raising revenue for the state. The fact that now KGL accounts for 80% of the sector's revenue underscores the efficacy of the partnership in generating 
massive resources. Another area the KGL group is making headway is the digitalization of the fuel system. We have built 300 stations across the country and this has created efficiency and is driving revenue increases in that sector. For where we sit, ladies and gentlemen, we want to invite you all to come to Ghana. We have done a tremendous job. I would say that myself, having lived in England for a very, very long time, uh, like I said, when I left England, I, went, I left to bring resources, make money and bring resources and uh, I earned quite a bit. I would say that I was one of the top 1% earners in England but I didn't find the fortune that I found returning back into Ghana eight years ago. One of my directors here, he also lived in the US for a very long time. The reason why I'm saying this is Living in Ghana for 35 years in England, I found the greatest fortune and opportunities in Ghana. As uh, I said earlier on, we run one of the largest companies in Ghana, a diversified group of companies with about eight companies within the group spanning from fintech to logistics to agri to banking. Uh, um, so we, 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 we have um, a, a turnover of almost uh, five, six hundred million dollars. And this has been done over a period of about eight years. And I want to invite you all um, <clears throat> um, because I believe strongly that the diaspora should play a significant role in what we're doing with the expertise that you have. Um, with the knowledge, with the resources and the contacts that you have, uh, I believe that coming back to the, the motherland, as we put it, um, and would see um, the realization of the continental free trade that um, Africa is pursuing now, you will see it into fruition. So I would invite you all to come to Ghana. Uh, Look at the clear examples of what we've been able to do in this space. And um, we, we would welcome you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. I believe we can, we can appreciate the honorable man some more with a round of applause. Let's do that for being a judge, the 11th world performing. Um, organization or company in Ghana, or one of the greatest in Ghana, there is no doubt that Mr. Adabi is a distinguished entrepreneur with a background spanning of over 30 years with expertise in fintech, logistics, agri, property development, and commerce. And of course, he's also held a lot of leadership positions that distinguishes what he's told us today. We believe that these are people we can model as um, African or African American, so we can all go back to our homelands and make our, our homelands a better place. So round of applause one more time for him, please. One of applause. So this is the Black History Festival 2024, and we believe that as we have begun, it will be a greater one to the end. It will be a three days event, and so tomorrow is day two. Tomorrow is day two, and tomorrow we are looking at the Black History Lecture. We are taking a Black History Lecture, so a couple of like lectures this? will be on. So when we do that, we are sure that by 1 p.m. tomorrow we'll be gathered here and then we shall take the lecture, the resource persons to take us through and then we'll get more insight so as we go back we are able to know our rooms better.